Hello mathematicians and welcome to this video on how to use Khan Academy. This video is going to be very helpful and will guide you through how to use Khan Academy in the best way so that you can get the most out of it um, and it will meet the needs of where you need to grow and where you have already succeeded. So the first thing that I want to point out to you is when you log in, this should be the screen that you see. All right. So let's go to your learning home. And this is what you should start off seeing. All right. And you get there by clicking your username and go to learning home. So that's the first thing that you would do. Um, if you are starting out for the very first time and haven't used Khan Academy before, uh, you're going to go through a mission. So how you're going to get there is you'll see that there's sixth grade as your subject. Click see all eight. And then you'll always click the mission, all right? So we'll click mission. As you can see here, I have uh, a brand new Khan Academy account. So I will be uh, getting started on a warm up. This warm up is going to give Khan Academy the best way um, to help you uh, in order to know where your strengths lie and where your areas of growth are as well. So. I'll go through this, I'll get my first question, I'll answer these questions as I go through, complete the inequality, so I'm comparing okay, check this Now I'm multiplying fractions. I'll write down what the answer I believe is. And it's okay if you don't know what these answers are. Uh, Khan Academy just poses questions to see what you already know what to do and what you still need to do. All right, so in order to type in the fraction line here, if you look on your keyboard, uh, on the bottom right hand corner you're going to see there is a shift key you'll also see next to that to the left of that is a question mark and this little slash you're gonna click that slash question mark key and that's what is gonna create the fraction line and then so that's the numerator and this is the denominator okay one key thing here that's helpful uh, that you will find useful is there's a scratch pad here where if you want to do your work you actually click this bottom lower lower hand corner and you get to do work on the screen so you can change the color um, pen that you want to use so I am I'm being asked to divide 129 and 6 tenths by three and six tenths or thirty-six tenths. And then you can either hit enter or you might need to move your mouse and hit the check button. And I'm going to purposefully get one of these wrong. Just so I can show you an example. If it says not quite yet and you're not going to click through all the responses if you're not sure what you what you would do here is either get help or move on so if you get help you could uh, watch a video or use a hint if you use a hint it will automatically mark this question wrong but because this question is marked wrong already it's not going to hurt you to use a hint so you can figure out um, what the next step would be. If you don't want to get um, an X here and you're not quite sure, you could click watch a video 
And after you've watched the video, you, you can come back to the question and then you won't get uh, the question incorrect. Uh, but once you use a hint, uh, the question is automatically marked incorrect. So your best bet, if you're not quite sure, is to move on um, if it's a, uh, a, a mission or to, um, or to click watch a video if you want to go through it and see what the, um, what the procedure is or the concept that you need to know in order, in order to answer that question. All right, so I'll click move on here. Twenty-eight and two tenths. Okay, after you finish taking the mastery challenge, you will get a screen that lets you know how well you did. Um, it will give you uh, these levels. Your goal by the very end is to get all of these um, moved to the darkest blue that is on the screen. Okay, so we'll, we can click continue on to next task if you wanted to continue with some more um, mastery challenges. However, I'm going to X out of here because this is what you'll do next. So as you can see here on your left hand side, here's the sixth grade, your mission progress. The goal here is to get all of these uh, squares. Uh, to the mastery level. So you want to move these up gradually in, in color so that you're getting to the darkest blue. All right, so what you'll do is you'll scroll over here and for now I just want you to work on the mission foundations and the arithmetic operations. So you can work on the mission foundations first and or you can work on the arithmetic operations. So let me, if I scroll over this, this square right here, I'll see that there is adding decimals and tenths. Um, so I can click that with my mouse, and now it'll show up in my list, and I can click that as practice. And then I'll go through and I'll practice this, and it's asking me to do seven problems, so I'll quickly do seven problems. Okay, and as you can see, the, the level moved up from needs practice to practiced. In order to, for this skill, adding decimals and tenths, to move up in a mastery challenge, in order for the color to change to get to the darkest of blue, what you need to do is you need to get to this practice level first. So once you've gotten to the practice level and you've met the goal up here, it'll say that you've practiced it. So then when you log in the next time, over here, there will be a mastery challenge, and as you can see, it says mastery challenge is available um, in 7 hours, 51 minutes, and 24 seconds now. Um, so when I come back here, I'll get another question from adding decimals, uh, and if I get that correct, it'll move me up another level. Okay. Uh, what Khan Academy does is it wants to make sure that you fully understand the skill so that you are not um, just mastering everything at one moment, and then the next day later, you forget everything that you just learned. So it uh, wants to see that you know it over time. And so that's why there's this time uh, that's in between you practicing that skill and getting it uh, again as one question. Okay, so after we've gone through this, you want to keep on going through this to uh, get all of your boxes, your squares, uh, light blue. Then they'll pop up in mastery challenges. So after we've done that, um, what you're going to want to do is use Khan Academy as a way to check in on how you're doing in math class. So this goes specifically for the students in my class. Um, so if you're watching this video to just get a sense for how Khan Academy works and you've never had Mr. Almeida in the class or you don't have him currently, then this next part is uh, going to be a part that you will want to skip. But if you do have Mr. Almeida in class, um, you get something called a progress report, uh, and it looks like this. 
And this is a progress report that lets you know how well you're doing. And any skill, so any skill that is, uh, like say, 6NS1, any skill that is less than a 4, so we'll go over here and see what the overall score is for this skill on dividing fractions, 4.5. So this would be a skill that gives um, you feedback as a student, letting you know that you are pretty solid in this and you, um, you want to move on to a skill that, that you're being um, challenged with. So let's go to a skill down here that has a score that's less than a 4. Okay, so in this case right here, we have make tables of equivalent ratios uh, relating quantities. So what we'll want to do is, you see the standard number here? We'd want to type in this standard number. But for the sake of, um, of looking at an, um, a standard that I know s most people are, are needing some work with, let's go to 6NS1. So we'll type in 6.ns.1, and I'll show you where to find that. So you'll click back on Khan Academy, and in the search button right up here, you're going to type in 6.ns.1. And then you'll hit Enter. And then something that says the Number System Grade 6 Common Core Map, Khan Academy, will pop up. Click on that. And then you'll see the entire grade 6 uh, standards right here. So grade 6, uh, the NS means the number system. And you're going to want to go to 6NS.1. Now this letter that comes after NS is not uh, something that you need to focus in on. Uh, so that's 6NS.1. Uh, so you can go there. And underneath all of these... All underneath the standard, you'll see all of the skills that are related to uh, that standard in Khan Academy. You'll want to do this one first, then this one next, if you're going in a particular order. Then you'll want to do this one next, then you'll do this one next. However, it really doesn't matter which one you do first, just as long as you understand um, all of them by the very end. Okay, and but this one I would hold off on doing until you have a good grasp on what dividing fractions is all about, because the word problems add another layer to understanding. Okay, so um, if you have any EEs, so say you have six EE dot three that you need to work on, you'd click on the expressions and equations because that's the EE, and you go all the way down to six dot EE dot three. So we see 6.ee2a, 2b, 2c, 3 right here. Apply the properties of operations to generate equivalent expressions. So you can click on this exercise here. I'll click on one with so that you can see. So this one's about combining like terms, which is really getting to uh, understanding the distributive property. Um, or we could use a commutative property as well. Uh, but this is the distributive property in action. So this would be, I'll just go through this and go through a couple of them. It says down here, do seven problems. So it's letting you know what you must do in order to make this a practiced skill. Um, so I'll check this. I'll go through and, 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 and do these. And So 9t minus 3t, basically you're saying 9 marbles minus 3 marbles is 6 marbles. So we have 6t plus 4, say this is 4 cats. You're not going to have 10 cats. So you're going to have 6 marbles or 6t's plus 4 cats. All right. 4r minus 1r. There's an r right there. That's 3r plus 8 because 14 minus 6 is 8. 7k minus 3k is 4k. 
plus 11. And one more. 12p plus 1p is 13p. Okay, so after you've done that, it's going to say that you've that you've reached the that you've reached the goal and you are able to earn a practice for this. So after you're done with that, you're going to click the back button. So just go back on whatever browser you're using and then you'll come right back to here the the common core map so what you'll want to do is use this report to let you know where you do need to focus your your effort and energy okay so if you look back here on the 6ee3 I did combining with like terms. And how will I know that I got credit for that? I'll go right back to, I'll click back, back again. And I may need to switch windows. Or the easiest way to do this for you would be to click test student again, go back to your learning home, or click on your username, then go to your learning home then click on your subject and see all eight again and then you're gonna to go to your mission and then if you scroll down under variables and expressions you should see combining like terms is now practiced okay so you'll always want to come back to your learning home and then mission to see what skills you do need to work on. So you're working on the mission foundations and arithmetic operations. And if you need to find out what skills go along with the standard that you need to work on, then you look here at your progress report and you would go and type up here the standard number that you need to go over, okay? Um, I would generally type in 6.ns.1 um, for all of them, and then it'll always take you to the, the map that lets you know what standards are and what skills go with that. So even if I type in 6.rp.2, which is another one of the skills, the standards here, I'm going to also get the, the map again, um, and you're going to always want to go to the one that says Common Core Map. So you can switch throughout each of these to get to the standard number that you need to get to. So the RPs are going to be ratios and proportional relationships. The NSs are going to be the number system. The EEs are going to be expressions and equations. And when we get to them, the G is going to be geometry, and the SP is going to be statistics and probability from your progress report that's right here okay so I hope this gave you a good sense of what you do need to work on and how to use Khan Academy uh, to navigate because I know that Khan Academy is new for many of you but um, using it this way is going to benefit you and you're gonna get a lot out of it uh, because you can go ahead if you would like or you can uh, go back and just freshen up on your skills to make sure that you understand them the way that you want to understand them uh, to master me. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and continue your work with Khan Academy. It is a very helpful tool, and I look forward to seeing you in class soon.